want a friend to stay closer. Yes.
God is thankful the one who was with us last year is with us Amen. this year. Amen. 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 Yes. He's more precious than silver yes, and gold. Yes. Riches and toes. Yes. Amen. Amen. He is our everything. Thank you. 
affected and areas affected that the gospel of Jesus will go forward and they will turn their hearts and their lives to you this new year. And we're just anticipating a great time of harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said,
96 and 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Come on, somebody sing a new song today. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all the people. One of the things about declaring that your song is for letting everybody know who God truly is and how great he is. Verse 4, for the glory is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. I want to say it one more time. 22, 2022 is going to be a year for the church to rise up and to sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've got a reason to sing. There are many believers in the house today. I've got joy of the Lord down in my heart that is my strength. I go to other churches sometimes and I think, good Lord, bless the Lord. They all seem like they lost their joy, even in their singing. You, you just, you don't feel the joy. And that's one of the things I love about our church. Not that we're so much better than you guys, but I believe when we sing, we're singing unto the Lord. I believe when you sing, you got a joy that in your heart. The joy and the wells of salvation are, are turning inside your spirit, man. And when you're singing unto the Lord, you're not singing for performance. You're not singing to be heard. Sing into the Lord so He knows uh, He's worthy to receive glory and honor and power and praise. And it's not mechanical and it's not dry and it's not stale. But there's a new oil, there's a fresh oil, there's a new wine flowing in your heart and in your life. And when you sing, praise God, it's a sweet sound to heaven uh, and it's a declaration.
And when they started out singing in the known tongue, they ended up singing in an unknown tongue. Yes. How many know what I'm talking about? Yes, amen. And they were singing unto the Lord. And he was How many is ready to go deeper this year? Amen. Try to hide this year. Amen. So, Lord, give us a new song in our hearts and our lips. Ezekiel chapter 36. The prophet spoke to Israel. And in these verses, he talks about a new heart and a new spirit. I want to read just a few of these verses for a moment today. Ezekiel declares, verse 25 of chapter 36, Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness, and I will cleanse you from your idols, I will cleanse you. Verse 26, a new heart, I said a new heart. A new heart. I will give you a new spirit, I will put within you, and I will take away the stony heart. See, God's people had drifted so far away from God and had fallen so much into idolatry that he earlier prophesied that they would go into Babylonian captivity, that we take it out of their homeland and be taken captive, and maybe they would lose their song. But here we see prophecy of restoration. And God says, I'm going to do something. In fact, if you read this out, God says, I'm not even going to do this for you. Actually, I'm going to do this because you've embarrassed my name so much among others. I'm going to do this to reclaim for my name's sake that I have, I deserve, God says, all the glory, all the honor. I'm going to do this for my name. How many of those will honor God's name? Amen. Amen. Who he is. And so he says, Restoration, Ezekiel prophesied is going to come. And look at all the places he says, this is what I'm going to do, God says. Verse 24, I'm going to take you and gather you out of all the countries and bring you to the earth. I'm going to sprinkle you clean. I'm going to give you a new heart. I'm going to put a new spirit within you. I'm going to take your stormy, stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Or a soft heart. And not a stony one, but a soft heart. And I will put my spirit, verse 27, in you. And I will cause you. I will enable you. I will empower you. I will equip you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your father. I'm going to restore all things. I will give you your land back. I'm going to give you your song back. I'm going to give you a soft heart. I'm going to give you a new heart. I'm going to give you a new. I'm going to sprinkle you clean with water and take away all your filthiness from all your aisles. I'm going to cleanse you from the top to the bottom. And he says in verse 28, you shall be my people and I shall be your God. Hallelujah. I don't know who this is for today, but I just felt it from the Lord that last year you just felt like there was a little drifting in your life. You just felt like you just, you just had sort of in your walk with God has, has gotten off course somewhere along the way. The Lord has sent me by way of the Holy Spirit, whether you're in this room or watching online today, to say to you, 22 is a year for you to receive a new heart, a new spirit, to be cleansed in a new way, that the Lord loves you. He's not giving up on you, but He's going to equip you, empower you, and give you the uncommon ability by His power and His strength uh, to walk in His way and His statutes. But it all begins with you being willing to yield your heart, yield your spirit, yield your life to allow Him to do the work He wants to do. Oh, yes. He's initiating it. He's paid for it. He's paid for the cross of power. He's paid for it in full. But we've got to be accepting and receiving and willing for Him to give us the new heart. Oh, where you were in 21, can I tell you? It's time in 22 
in here, maybe last year, there's some things that have caused your heart to get a little hard in some areas. Crusty. Come on. Don't bring that crusty heart into 22. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. He said, I'll give you a new heart. Yes, he did. I'll cleanse that thing. I'll put my spirit back in. You know, if you had a bad attitude last year, it's time to get over it. That's right. Come on. If you had bitterness down in there last year, it's time to let some stuff get up. Amen. Good preaching, Pastor. That is good preaching. That's good stuff. If there was some things you allowed yourself to get into, and you shouldn't have, and you know it, you already felt convicted about it. Listen, don't let the enemy run you through it time and time again. Get on your knees. Ask God for his help and his forgiveness. Let me tell you something today. Just like he said to the prophet Ezekiel, he's a God of restoration. If you're willing to receive what he's paid for in full, you can get up with a clean heart. He came, and he 
He lived. He died. And he was resurrected again. He ascended, but he didn't live us long. He said, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to be right beside you. Look at that. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. How many sons will today? If you take one step sideways outside where God wants you to be, He lets the Holy Spirit let you know that. He doesn't want our hearts to be crusty. Hard. He don't want anything that tried to weigh you down to 22 to be some heavy baggage unnecessarily carried into 22 for 21. Holy Spirit is here today. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be released. He wants you to be clean and sprinkled. He wants to put his new spirit and his new heart in your life today. Man, I thought about this something to do with 22. There's a couple of places in Revelation that came to my heart. This week, one is Revelation 2 17. Jesus said, He that hath the ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches, to him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, knoweth save he that receiveth it. So here there's an indicator that somewhere. Amen. About the power of heaven. As the child of God, we are given a new name. Amen. And we're going to receive it, and I believe even do receive it, even today, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can I tell you, one day, God did a work in a man's heart by the name of Saul of Tarsus. He later became the Apostle Paul, and God so changed his life, he changed his name, and it was no longer called Saul, but Paul. Anybody here thankful the day you gave your heart initially to the Lord, you may have went to your knees, and some people may have called you a sinner, but after you asked for forgiveness and you gave your life to the Lord, some may have named you a sinner, but after you confessed and received salvation in your life, when you got up on that altar of prayer, you were no longer labeled a sinner. You were now justified in the sight of God as though you had never sinned. You had generated in a new heart and a new life and a new spirit. And when one referred to you earlier as a sinner, now all they can say is, look there, there goes a redeemed child of the living God.
where you felt lost or alone. But in 22, if you haven't done it already, God can give you a new name. Yes. And that name is Child of God. Oh, He wants you to have a new song. He wants us to walk into a new heart and a new spirit. I don't know about you. I thank God for the old covenant, but how many glad we're walking in the new covenant? Amen. Hmm? Amen. A new covenant. Covenant that Christ has done. And another place that came to my spirit this week, thinking about this new year, was a passage in Revelation. Amen. And back in chapter 21, in John. He had all of this vision, and he said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle.
hard times on this earth. That's right. It's true. But a lot of them, how many of us are going to have some hurts and pains, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And birthing pains, I, I never personally endured them. When I watched my wife and girl, we were really young. We were so young, when we had our child, they didn't tell me whether it was a boy or a girl. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And so, we had one name picked out, if it was a boy, and we had another name picked out, if it was a girl. And we had settled in on the name Eric. And we we just we just had this premonition, as wrong as it was, that it would be a woman. I don't know, it's God's got a sense of humor sometimes. It does. And when you think you know it all, you can be not so that you know it all. We had a healthy little girl. We'll trade her in for Eric. Because I got me an Eric done. <laughs> Amen. The boy with the condom is probably too graphic. But child birthing pains are real. Yes, they are. They have this little machine set up. And you can kind of see with those contractions are like, you know, really crazy. And so I can sort of see her pain tolerance level was in direct correlation with those peaks on that little graph. So I thought I'd help my wife out. And when I saw that thing go crazy, I said, oh, you're interested, you're in luck. It's about all over with you. <laughs> but guess what? It didn't matter what I told her. The graph didn't lie. You know? But boy, when she was put into arms, all of that pain, all that birthing process became nothing but sheer, utter joy. Hello? Amen. And today we may be going through some stuff on earth. We may go through some birthing pains, kind of sorrows. I don't know what people refer to it as, but the signs of the times are everywhere. Sister Diane Scheich, back there, pastor back here, can lay it out better than no one else I know. But just know this for now. It's time to sing a new song, church. Yeah. It's time to keep a clean heart right. and a new heart and a soft heart. Yes. Amen. We appreciate that. Amen. No matter what goes on this earth, it's time to remember I don't have to be like the world because I'm not the world. Yes. I've been given a new name. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise God. And it may be weeping and things happen on this earth that regrettably we have to see unfold, but just know birthing pains are for a season, weeping is for a season, joy comes in the morning. And I'm telling you, sure as I'm standing behind this pulpit on the authority of God's word, amen, God has won the battle, Jesus has won the victory, hallelujah, we ought to walk in the victory today, knowing that victory is going to be ours tomorrow.
Praise the Lord. I love you guys. Just as the housekeeping item, we're going to pray. The fellowship that we're a, a part of, I'm credentialed through Church of God of Prophecy with other church groups that you see from time to time. We link arms and we stand shoulder to shoulder in January when we designated a time of prayer and fasting. And so the dates of January 2nd through 22nd have been designated as a day, a challenge for us in America and globally in our fellowship to do a season of prayer and fasting in this first month of this new year. See, if we're going to really receive new wine, let me tell you something about new wine. It'll stretch us. It'll stretch us sometimes. A new, fresh anointing, a move of the Holy Spirit, sometimes will stretch us out of our comfort zone. But it's worth it. And sometimes for my life to be positioned where it needs to be, until the bride comes to the bridegroom, there's times for us to fast. There's times for us to pray. Now, please, this doesn't have to be mechanical or religious. If you don't feel led to pray or fast in any of this stuff. That's what we do more. You may fast so regularly and pray so regularly that nothing changes in your life. But you do it in any way. Glory to God. But if it touches your heart to join in this fast and prayer time, whatever the Lord and Holy Spirit lays on your heart, Thank you. 